Hello and welcome to another demo from MicroStrategy Rooster. Today's topic will be alerts. So let me bring up my MicroStrategy machine. All right. So there's a few things that you know just uh, you got to be cautious about. Uh, notifications or automatic notifications like alert require some uh, privileges that you may or may not have. So you just want to make sure first of all you have MicroStrategy Distribution Services installed as a developer. You also want to make sure that your users have some privileges that would require them to. Um, so let's look at the administrator. Let's look at the different project access things that they have. There's a few of them. You got to comb through them, but let me tell you the ones that are obvious. You will need um, to be able to subscribe to history list if you're sending items from the alert by history list. You will also need to create alerts, web create alert, which is a web analyst property. You might want to add to history list from the web. That's also another one. And you might there you that could be enough for you for this point, but you could also allow adding other users so let's see where it's, here it is web subscribe others so if you want to add others besides yourself there's a few more you want to go through you also want to give the users the delivery access to um, the, if you, you might want to give them create email address you might not you but you want to give them subscribe to email if you want them to subscribe to an email or file or print you want to let them use distribution services so there's a few you might enable or disable send now option so like I said just go through them make sure you got everything covered that you need for your service if you didn't you'll get an error you'll come back here and enable it so just uh, this is just some administrator now let's just look at um, a sample report let me look at this report that I just grabbed this is a regular report it has a few attributes a few filters nothing really fancy okay it's very simple report it has the ability to add thresholds okay but it does not have alerting capability or development for alerts from here because it's if in essence alerts are not a developer uh, function or not a developer uh, object developer based object these are user based objects and I'll show you what I mean when we go to the web so let's pull up the web quickly okay let me grab my browser from here okay great so here's my browser and that report was in my reports so let's run this report see if it gives us any data great so this report produced some interesting data let's just minimize my screen okay so this is the report that we just created and it has one two three four the uh, three attributes and one two three four metrics okay so let's say you want your user to be able to create an alert and you gave them all the privileges what the user can do is choose one of these just like creating a threshold but it's a little bit different I'm going to right click on the header and I'm going to say alert I can choose mobile or email let's go with email alright so let's pull this up because it's going to expand in a second so let's say on the average speed to answer I want an alert when the value of the average speed to answer is greater than or equal to let's say greater than there's a bunch of these that you can use and say greater than the value 10 okay approve it I want you to send me a report but before I also wanna highlight it so I double click in this and I say turn it into yellow 
Now this is not a threshold, meaning it's not going to show yellow on the report. It's going to show yellow on the report if you receive an alert. Okay, so it's very, it's, it's exactly the same, but it's a little bit different. And you might say only for the metric, metric, or for the subtotal, or for both. Let's just do both. Then you say, how do I want my alert? Well, this is the name of my alert subscription, not the name of the report. The alert subscription. This is giving me the date and time that I've created it, but I can say demo alert subscription, okay? And then you choose a schedule, okay? The schedule is either time or event-based, something like daily, monthly, weekly, whatever your administrator created for schedules. If you need more schedules, you can send a request to your administrator and say, hey, I need something for that says, for instance, every Thursday, okay? There's, an, there's another demo that we're going to have about creating schedules and adding them to MicroStrategy. But for now, let's say I chose daily, okay? Then I have to choose the two, an address. So two allows us to do things. One, select from the available users, which could have emails associated with there. Or you might be able to create your own. Let's do this, demo. And let's call it demo at demo dot com and what kind of device it's a, just keep it a generic email unless you have some specific need okay and then you add it to the recipients and there you go there it is so I have now two recipients one called test and one called demo let me get rid of test just click on it get it out you could also add an existing user the difference between an existing user and just a generic email a generic user like this demo can accept data but will not have access to the history list or be able to log in by clicking on the alert then the user that you created will have that ability to go directly so it's just what kind of users do you have and you can have user lists okay so let's close this so I have two receivers now here's four options you want to send the data in the email email and history list data and link to history list or link to history list only so if you want to be top uh, you know if you want to be very careful about your data you just want to send a link to history list that means that if the user doesn't have access to the to the report they will not get any data they'll just get an alert if you're if the data that you have is not sensitive and you need to send it out you can send it out or you can send it both to history and in the email or to history and a link to history list in email okay so there's multiple things so date data in email and to history list means they don't get a link they just get data in the email but they can go to their history list and view it data and link to history list means they get the data and they get a URL link that can send them to the history list after they submit their credentials okay so whichever format suits you then you can have HTML whatever Excel I prefer PDF. You can compress your contents. You can expand page buys if you want. This is the file name that will appear in the email. MicroStrategy gives you a little bit of fancy, you know, shortcuts to add. You can look at the info button here. For example, you can add the date. What this is, it's a dynamic field. It says demo and gives you the date. So if the alert was on January 1st, this would say January 1st, okay? The subject on your email alert on demo it's match it, I mean you can have whatever name you want you can say alert change the name of this alert to be you know alert for my demo report okay important please see data in yellow for instance because we're using the yellow highlight I can have it send a preview now if I have my email open I can just send a preview now to see what the alert will look like upon receiving it and then you can send all data or send the different report this is useful when you're having an alert on one report but what you want to send is a different report so how does that work well 
sometimes the alert is alerting you to one metric but you want the receiver to see something else upon that alert so you can send a different report by clicking here but for simplicity we're just going to keep this advanced options are important so what you want to do is you can have a termination okay if you had a different format you can have a zip protected file as well and you could allow recipients to change delivery settings unless you really don't want them to change delivery settings delivery settings means that you can get get this instead of like let's say here we created it on daily they can switch it to monthly personalization if it was prompted they could change the prompt value and they are allowed to unsubscribe or subscribe okay so it's up to you to decide which combination once you're done with this and you're satisfied and I'm telling you you can go back and edit this so I'm going to show you how to edit it later okay so here it is okay great now what where do I go to go to my subscriptions and here it is it's called demo alert subs I can edit it or I'm subscribed to it let's edit it so here it is everything that we saw that I created is right here so I can go ahead and edit it anytime I want okay and because I enabled uh, some modification capabilities like schedule change etc the user will have these abilities depending on what you allow the user they will see or not see some of these options I'm the administrator so I see all of them by default when I come to the subscription okay and I could also modify I could add another filter or another etc so here I can add a condition it says and something else and answer calls etc you get the point okay so you can modify it from here when you modify it from here it's still going to this report and it's still doing everything else so in essence you created it the alert in one report but then you can come out and manage it from outside okay all right and one more thing okay so notice here it is also if you click on the detail list it'll show you the schedule it'll tell you who owns it and it'll show you who's receiving it and you can modify the action so let's edit this and show you what I'm talking about this is the email subscription component so what you can do and this is really important that you can after you do this you can for each user start changing what they get so here's the regular user see what this is the regular user view and if I go back and cancel and look at the admin user okay the admin user let's say I added date and hello okay yep save it now when I go to the admin to the demo user it doesn't have that addition that I added so what I'm trying to say is that you could change different settings from here oops should not hit the back button Just keep forgetting there we go alright let's go back Sometimes hitting the back button will screw you up. Try to use these buttons. I forget sometimes. And again, back to my subscriptions. So here we go. Who are they? And if they wanted to personalize, if there was a prompt, you would change the personalization. And then you can unsubscribe. Let me go back and modify this report. Edit. and let me make this prompted on date okay just for okay let me go back to the web and go to my reports and let me run it okay there's one qualification let's keep it for now let's create an alert
and filter on similar thing okay I'm not gonna change the color I just want to show you the delivery etc so let's keep all this stuff the same uh, test etc cache PDF all right nothing special here okay great so here we go F test demo compress send a preview now and let me add the admin as well because I want to show you how it looks like in comparison and this call it demo 2 okay save it let's go to my subscriptions let's look at demo 2 notice there's a personalization thing here this is the prompt answer and if you allow ch users to change personalization then what the user can do is come here click on the prompt change the prompt value and save it so that when they subscribe to this alert they are using a certain value or set of values for the prompts for instance let's say there was a report which prompted you on geography and this user who subscribes to it just is interested in a specific geography let's say USA so they would go here and select the USA save it that alert means that they will get the alert for the same metric when that value is triggered only for USA in this case in this example so that's where it becomes very critical so it's the same report same alert but it can be personalized right here so again we gave them the ability to personalize and if we want to take it back we go here and we'll see different options again and here we could allow or not allow personalization because I'm a admin whether I'm allowed or not allowed I always always have this capability to change them but if you were a user you would not have that capability because you simply don't have the privilege unless I enable it for you as an admin so again what you allow the user to see and do is up to you as a report developer but they have a lot of power once you enable them okay and this concludes our demo about alerts and uh, we'll have another one about just for subscriptions which is a bigger subject than today's subject thank you very much